this thing of not repeating outfits. <sighs> Hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel as you seen by the title today's video is going to be a part two of things social media have made us think is normal but really aren't you guys at up part one. Oh my god i was mind blown the comments the feedback the likes a lot of people surprisingly to me resonated with that video when i was making that video honestly i made it out of nowhere with conversations also that i've had with friends and people around me and the way they respond to certain things that influencers and celebrities do and then assuming that it should also be their lives i wanted to have that kind of conversation i'm like you know what i'm going to talk about it i don't know how people are going to receive it some people might think i'm just hating but i'm going to say it anyway and i was really really emotional like emotional in a good way when everyone started you know giving their feedback you know talking about how they feel about social media and how it has impacted their life negatively positively like people were just speaking their minds and i love that because i feel like we just need an outlet to share these things discuss these things because sometimes we might feel like we're the only ones going through certain things in life and this is what my entire channel is all about to be honest like i deviated from doing makeup because i just wanted a platform where we could discuss things that people don't normally discuss things that people might not necessarily be open to talking about i just wanted to talk about it right and i'm so happy i know there are like a ton of comments on that video but i read a good amount of those comments and i'm like wow people are really going through it like social media really has a huge impact on people's lives and it could suck you in oh my god anyway this is a part two and we're going to be styling my hair today's video is sponsored by jesse's wig i've worked them on my channel before and this is not even a new wig my first install of this wig was two months ago i'm going to link the video in the description box and as well as on the screen they sent me this glueless straight wig 13 by 4 i think it was originally 24 inch or 26 i'm not really sure i'm going to link it in the description box below but i went ahead and cut it i didn't even cut it to a particular length i just you know put like layers in it when i was traveling to warsaw again if you haven't seen that warsaw vlog i'm going to link it in the description box below i've had this wig for two months and i've worn it a lot of times and obviously like i've styled it different ways this wig is amazing this wig has actually retained luster and moisture i've watched it a couple of times and it is still beautiful it's one of my favorite wigs at the moment i think it's because of how i cut it like the layers and everything on it i love it okay by the way all the links to this wig in the description box below as well as the initial video that i made on this wig the first time i installed this hair it was glueless like completely glueless i didn't use anything on it but today i just used got to be because i just felt like it so this is what the lace looks like after wearing it for two months it looks good and excuse this i don't know who is against me this period but i don't know who sent this to me but they failed they have failed but anyway this is how the hair looks close up this is how you know shiny it still looks i love messy hair like uneven curls and stuff so that's exactly what i think i'm going to go the first thing i want to talk about is this thing of you being a private person or you having a private life or being mysterious is regarded as you being weird or you just being awkward this is one of the biggest things and honestly i don't even know how to begin i don't know where to start with this one because it is huge there are a lot of people that don't do social media or have social media for instance tiktok instagram snapchat twitter or there are people that actually have one or two of these platforms or, or prefer one over the other or actually just like them for certain reasons they have them but they have them for certain reasons and they don't post on them those people nowadays are regarded as weird people i find that really really amusing people are very public with their lives people are very very 
open with their lives and you know they talk about it they post all the time they post milestones they post everything about themselves their relationships their career like however they're feeling mental health illness posting things online is the norm these days and so if you're not posting if you're not as open-minded if you're not as outgoing if you're not as you know public about your life you're regarded as being weird or trying to do too much if you're that person that lives a private life where you don't really share things about yourself when you're not really outspoken on social media people don't know anything about you it's regarded as oh you're trying to make it seem like you're better than everyone else no you're just living your life in private i feel like because it's done so much by everyone so it's not just even influencers anymore it's like people share their lives there are people that get married on social media when i say get married on social media i mean like we follow them through the entire process of their marriage on social media they post from the beginning from the engagement till the ceremony one two three four five like they, they post everything basically and it is not the norm but it is what people do these days and everyone pretty much follow suit they do the same so when you're not that people start to look at you like who do you think you are why can't you share your life like do you think you're better than us that we're sharing our lives and i'm like chill not everyone wants to leave this life not everyone wants to be on instagram or twitter or snapchat doing the absolute most and sharing every detail about themselves there are people that just enjoy life in private and that's what works for them if you're not sharing so much they don't think you're living life that is the most oh god that's the one thing i want to talk about the fact that people don't post that they're traveling or they have a bay or they're doing different things with them with themselves and with their lives doesn't mean that it's not happening for them but nowadays if you're not posting it it's not happening and i'm just like really because there are a lot of content creators or and celebrities that have made it completely normal to share all these private things when you're not doing it even as a content creator people are looking at you like oh you're weird or you don't have that going on for you it's not normal to share all these private things with complete strangers on the internet it's not normal if you're doing it and you want you like to do it by all means go ahead and do it but it's not the norm you don't necessarily have to come on here and give us an update on your relationship status we do not care i have a video on my channel talking about things that you should keep private in your life and i spoke about this i said people generally do not care about this information that you put out there about yourself it's gist to them it is entertainment to them and when they're asking you oh how is it going or da, 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 it's not because they generally care if it's going good or not it's because they just need something to entertain them or oh, they want tea and your tea for them your life is tea your relationship is tea for them so that's what it is and honestly i don't know about anyone but i just don't want that per that that type of access to me and that's completely fine there are people that they don't mind they share everything that's also fine it's even bad that people are talking about their sexual life on the internet people are talking about you know what they like what they do not like with sex people are vocal about these things it is not the norm it's good to an extent where people are like vocal about these things so other people can learn but there are some certain details that are just exclusive like they are too private to share if someone is deciding to share that's on them but there are just some things that are just like yeah you shouldn't talk about that in public you shouldn't share that there are so many times where i've been in situations where people are sharing details like certain details i don't want to be specific and i just completely opt out of that respectfully i say i don't want to share i don't want to talk about it some people i could see frown at it some people i could see are not really okay with the fact that i don't want to share but that's my life my choices my rules my personal boundaries i don't have to share those details with you like i certainly don't want to share and i i wouldn't share that's just how i am it's okay if you don't want to share anything about your life it's okay if you don't want to have social media accounts platforms or whatever it is okay if you have them and you have them for specific reasons and not necessarily to post anything it's okay if you say every single day you want to just be sharing memes and quotes and stuff 
that is okay this pressure to let people know that you're enjoying life if you're traveling if you have a relationship if you're having good sex mentally stable or you're eating at a nice restaurant like all these updates these little updates they're cute i do them because i want to do them like you know posting restaurants posting my time out with my girls you know doing stuff like i post those because i want to i don't post them because i have to or is the norm to post them i only post them because i genuinely want to post them so if you're not doing that you're not missing out on anything you're not being weird you're not being fake and i see people like even on my page like people that are not influencers when they start to do unboxing videos and they start to do some certain things i feel like they feel like it's the norm you know you know you buy a bag and you buy a shoe then you have to create a whole video about it some people just want to show the bag because maybe they like the bag or something which is okay i want you guys to understand that i'm not shaming people for doing these things i'm just saying that some people actually do these things because they feel pressure to they feel like it's what they should do it's the norm i'm just telling you that it's not the norm like you don't have to buy a bag and unbox it you don't have to go on a trip and you know create vlogs about the trip like if you're not an influencer if that's not your job you get what i mean so that's why i'm calling these things out so that you don't think that is the norm that you have to do it but if you want to do it anyway you can go ahead and do it again if you live a private life if you're a mysterious person and that's how you like to be don't feel the pressure to actually share keep to yourself that's who you are let me move to the next thing i want to talk about today because i could go on and on and on and on about this living a private life you know this mysterious thing this instagram posting or i could go on and on about it i think in my next one i'm actually going to touch on this again because there are other things that i want to unpack and there are things that i want to touch on so i'll talk about it again i'll keep talking about it because there are so many things my god so many things i want to talk about let's move on to the next thing i don't know who made this rule i don't know who talked about it but this thing of not repeating outfits most of these outfits that we get myself included um we get sponsored different brand standards clothes first of all me i repeat outfits a lot i do and that's because i like what i like and you know i'm not a big influencer so i don't have a whole room filled with clothes like you know how they make a whole walk-in closet and stuff i don't have that right that's one but still as a small influencer i do have companies send me clothes so if i don't repeat clothes or it looks like i don't repeat clothes that could be the that could be the reason tell me why as a normal person you expect to live that lifestyle i have heard people say things like oh i can't wear that shirt out because i want to take a picture when we go out and i want to post that picture on instagram and i've already posted a picture with this same outfit from five months ago and i'm like okay who cares i can understand if an influencer is saying that because obviously like it's a brand although to be honest even as an influencer i don't care i would still post what i want to post i hire so like what i'll do is just wear the same outfit but you know style it in a different way pretty much that's what i'll do people have made it so normal that you have to make sure that you're not repeating outfit because if you repeat outfit then you're going to look stupid or you're weird or you're broke and also i need people to understand that influencers don't post every day there are influencers that post every day though like don't get me wrong how do you know they're not repeating outfit it's what i keep asking people sometimes like how do you know they're not repeating outfit because you think you know their lives so well that they're not repeating outfit or because you watch their vlogs that will probably like pre-recorded space styles you know how influencers record content and like space it out and stuff or like schedule it it just kind of looks good and you think you're watching their videos in real time no you're not i can see celebrities and influencers doing this buy an outfit for each occasion and you know never wear the outfit again they can afford to do so and not because they are even paying out of pocket for the most part is because brands are sponsoring them right why would you want to live the same life from your nine to five it's not normal to buy an outfit for every event that you go to and then not wear the outfit the second time or the third time like it is not normal how would you have a bomb ass outfit 
and want to wear it only once just because you feel like people are going to look at you weird because you've worn it before and they've seen it it doesn't make any sense now this list the third thing i actually want to talk about making huge orders whenever you shop and this comes from hauls a 500 dollar haul from this place 1000 dollar haul from fashion nova a two thousand dollar haul from pretty little thing i think the thing is people get it twisted so because people shop heavily and they do hauls heavily doesn't mean that when you shop you need to shop like that like you need to do those kind of heavy shopping there is nothing wrong with picking an item or two items or three items whenever you shop and just keep it pushing because that's genuinely what you need or maybe what you want you don't have to have a bulk like a big order just to tell yourself that oh i finally have shopped well no some people feel like oh i can't just buy one item what does that make me look like buying one item for me store it makes you look like a normal person <laughs> like it makes you look like a normal person to go out there and shop for one item that you actually want you don't need to go there and buy like the entire store for the content creator there's also this pressure like there as well because when you see this bulk haul and everything it's like i cannot make a video on youtube or tiktok or on instagram as a content creator with three items why not why do you have to wait till you have 14 items to be able to make a haul so the pressure goes both ways for this i would say to be honest because you just feel like that's what people are doing people don't make videos on four items people don't shop four items so why should i do it do you get me it doesn't make any sense but it's the society that we live in right now things are just seeming like oh this is how you should normally do things while in reality it is absolutely not you don't have to pressure yourself to live a life that doesn't make any sense it's not feasible to you another thing i want to touch on is fillers and you know all these corrective things that you have to do well they say you have to do at an early age if you want to look a certain way like later on in life i 100 do not agree with that while i'm not against you know all these corrective things like fillers and the rest of it botox i'm not against it i personally love it i love it like if i need to get something done i will get something done if i want to i will i'll go out there and do it but it is not normal for you to have all of it like it's not the norm it's not the standard for you to have fillers lip fillers eye fillers nose fillers it is encouraged for certain correctional things that you might have problems with instead of going under the knife and like you know doing surgery and stuff yeah it's recommended that you do some certain things and i completely am with it i have spoken about fillers on my channel and botox on my channel before and i'm okay with it but don't think because you're not you know with the trend or you don't have the same opinion as i do being a content creator that actually loves fillers and botox doesn't make you abnormal you are completely fine like there are a lot of people that feel like okay at least i should have lip fillers or at least i should have under eye fillers or at least do botox once in my life just because you know to feel like i've actually experienced something or i'm part of you know the babes and stuff no if you don't want to you don't have to do you understand like you don't have to go ahead out there and do all these things that are thrown in your face like some of them are actually just trends and trends you know die and most of these trends are ridiculous there are people that feel like oh if you have not at least gotten one thing done then you're not living the life you're not experiencing life to the fullest you're not trying new things well there are other things that you could experience there are other things that you could actually try that gives you the experience of living life to the fullest you don't necessarily have to tap into everything not everything that is a trend or what everyone says is the norm or everyone is doing is what you should do you should be okay looking the way you look if you feel like you don't need it you don't think it's your thing girl leave it alone leave it alone leave it alone you don't have to do it don't let society friends peers and all of that force you or pressure you into getting into these things just because everyone is doing it right now that's how you know so and so got her nose to look like this so and so got her lips to look like this that's the reason why she looks so good in pictures and everything so it's the norm everyone is doing it i have to do it like what i look like not doing it you look like a normal person not doing it and that's fine like 
you don't have to do it you actually do not have to do it now that's pretty much everything that i have in this video i hope you guys enjoyed it again thank you to jess's wig for this hair it is a lot messy and it's nice i like i like it i like the hair and this is what i wanted like the jagged layered look i wanted it really messy i'm going to have the hair links in the description box below i'm also going to have the initial video i made on this wig in the description box below as well let me know your thoughts as usual in the comment section below let's chit chat and everything that i talked about thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye those of you that are listening in your car at your job you at home i don't care where you at turn this up right now because we're about to go in hey